in today's episode. <laughs> How do you do in welcome. So I might just have invented the perfect scones. Well, might not be perfect, but it is a scones and I invented it. So I've been thinking about sort of inventing food and giving them specific names like cocktails, not just scones, but I am trying to invent Diana Reeland's sensational scones. And I think I have now. These are the best ones so far. And I infuse them with Earl Grey tea. So what's special with these? I'll show you later. Dun, 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 dun. So on, not Snapchat, but TikTok, I'm quite popular when I do this Swedish word of the day and I've stopped doing it, I don't know, this summer? But then I think, okay, I'll, um, I'll take it up again because they've really been asking. They don't like much what I do except Swedish word of the day, which they love. Hello and uh, welcome to Swedish word of the day. Swedish word of the today is snow. Sne. Sne. Snow. Uh, I'm now going to use it in a sentence. What is that for white stuff on the mark? It's snow, you know. What is that for white stuff on the mark? Det är snö, vet du. Uh, thank you for watching Swedish World All The Day and welcome back later. Hello and uh, welcome to Swedish World of The Day. Swedish word of the today is snow. Snö. Snö. Snow. Uh, I'm now going to use it in a sentence. What is that for white stuff on the mark? It's snow, you know. What is that for white stuff on the mark? It's snow, you know. Thank you for watching Swedish World All The Day and welcome back later. Oh, <laughs> fantastic color, isn't it? Um... God, it's like a lamb. I am going grocery shopping. I invited Ulf for dinner tonight. He hasn't answered yet. And he might be tired because it's Friday and he's been working all week. And uh, But I will buy stuff anyway. Because I would need to be cooking anyway. So let's go. Anyway. So people, the snow is melting away. It's uh, it's not freezing anymore, but I could do with some sun, right? You know, it's even colder, I think, when it's sort of this damp air everywhere. It's sort of, when it's really cold, it's sort of, it's, you, I don't know, it's just a thought. It feels colder. So this spring filter is just mocking me, I think. Doesn't even, I mean, it should make me look pretty, but it doesn't, does it? Well, maybe it does. <laughs> and, oh. I thought when I was shake, yes, I shake off the feathers. Anyway, uh, Ulf just texted and he's too tired to uh, socialize, but we will be meeting on Sunday. This is kind of funny. Funny. People, I just made glorious hummus. I'm eating it with cucumber and tomatoes. And that's dill sprinkled on top of it. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm doing backup of all my videos from IGTV. Oh, 
My God. So people, that took some time. I think I've been two or three hours to do all those backups, but now everything is backed up. So um, I am having the last of that couscous and ratatouille I made over a week ago, and it's still good. That's the thing with vegan food. It's sort of like it doesn't go... It's not like meat. That Meat really goes bad. Vegan food is sort of... If it goes bad, you sort of... Ah, no, this is not fresh. This is fresh. And of course, I microwave, so everything dies anyway. Okay, so I thought I'd make a cocktail and a bubble bath. And then I thought, wait, didn't I buy those sort of bath bumps, bath fizzers? This one says, hello weekend, eucalyptus. And I mean, it's Friday, so hello weekend. I'm going to do it. And then I realised there's plastic all around this and I can't really find anywhere to open it up. I mean, do I throw it as it is? Hello weekend? Do I take a knife to it? Or do I take... Maybe I need some reading glasses. Wait. This, people, this is entertainment. Oh my God, I can't even read with my reading glasses. Okay, the first thing I can read Keep out of reach of children. Well, it wouldn't do them any harm. There's plastic. They couldn't even get into it. Damn it. I'm going to try just throwing it into the water. Hello, weekend. Yeah. Obviously not the right approach. I mean, if I was a person now, without a knife, how would I do it? It's a good thing I have a knife. Oh, eucalyptus, the happy bath fizz has taken off its clothes. And it sort of feels like there's more plastic to go. I'm going to throw it again. There's more plastic. Okay, now it feels sort of chalky, so must be doing something right. Here we go. Look. And here's a funny story about bath fisters or bath bombs. When Lush was new in Sweden, it came to Stockholm and I brought some home to my mother as a gift, a bath bomb. <laughs> she didn't use it. It. And afterwards, she told me she had thought that it was something that would explode. So she stood about three feet away from the bathtub and threw the fizzler, fizzer into it and just sort of... And I said, why do you think I would give you anything that's that uh, dangerous? Or why would they sell something that explodes? And she did have a, she didn't have an answer for that one. So um, yeah, happy weekend. And I mean, this one I think it was ten Swedish crowns. It's nothing. But uh, yeah, it's blue anyway. It doesn't smell of eucalyptus, but yeah, someone's taking a bath. We got about. <laughs> Not 500 people in the audience, 430 or something like that. And also Björn is back. And this is the last Thursday in Stockholm. And today's people, 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 people. So I'm homo and I'm going to start by cooking this. It's a, uh, let's see, mushroom. 
thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family and lovers how fantastic I am and tell them to watch me as well.